Hello, this is James with Illogics.com, and I am performing a, or I just formed a firmware update, and I am booting it up now so that I can go through a uh, language conversion after the update. Uh, the updates are in Chinese um, after they're completed, so you have to convert your device back to English. Um, I'm sure in the near future they'll have uh, both an English and a Chinese version. This is the screen calibration uh, tool. Uh, it's the first thing to boot up after doing the update. What you want to do is use your stylus and place it over where your marker is. I'm going to do five points four corners and a center. I want to make sure you don't touch any other part of the screen except for the part where the little marker is with your stylus. The ROM version I loaded was 2.1. Uh, the screen looks familiar if it's uh, uh, version 2.0. My uh, previous video was actually what I thought was uh, uh, firmware version was 2.0 was actually version 1.0 this is just a 2.0 device it does not have a metal um, bezel it's a uh, plastic here's the boot up screen well you'll notice 1.0 and 2.0 had some significant differences as far as usability uh, you can actually see where the mouse is at uh, for the cursor And as you see, it's it's in Chinese, so there will be some issues with uh, trying to understand the uh, text used. Okay, first things first, you need to set up your uh, Wi-Fi connection. Okay, and that is done through here. You will have a. Uh, Pass button pop up and close this. Okay, now to set it up, what you're going to do is you're going to click this little arrow right above, right next to your router. Okay, and then you're going to go here, a little file, and then this will pop up. If you're using web encryption, you select this tab here and select web. Um, if not, like I'm using WPA, so you'll enter your information in here. One second. Oh, um, before I enter this, uh, to enter this, what you have to do is you have to click here to put your cursor there, and then you want to hit this little icon here. This is your keyboard icon. And as you'll see, it's a full English keyboard uh, with up and down arrows. Um, after the conversion, um, the up and down and the inner and backspace arrows uh, disappear. So I'm still working on trying to figure out uh, where those are. I assume it's just XML, but I need to find exactly where the code is located. Let me enter my code. Okay, after you've entered your code, uh, what you want to do is you want to hit the keyboard button. It'll take that away. And you want to hit this little green arrow here. There you go. Almost. It's like right on the edge of the screen. That should be it. There we go. Okay, now that that's completed, now we want to check this box here. This is so the next time the device connects, it connects to that device or that router default. 
And then you want to click connect. Okay, it's making its connection. Okay, it's connected. You can close this box. Okay, the next step is to bring up the terminal. Okay, what you're going to notice is they're all icons, except for this one here. Okay, this is your run command. So you can click there, and you get a run prompt to come up. Okay, in the run prompt, you're going to type S U, and it's going to come up with a menu. Just select sudo, uh, super user do command, if, and just in case you're wondering. Um, is the closest uh, naming convention you can use for it. So you're going to run this terminal as super user space and then the terminal program's name is E V I L V T E. Okay, and then we're going to hit the green check box which is right here. And what's going to happen is we're going to have a terminal pop up. As you can see, it runs Mojo. 